Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today we want to take a look at Bybit and how the platform actually works. Bybit started out as a derivatives trading platform, but right now they are also a spot exchange so you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies there and you can trade um, futures or derivatives um, with leverage. So depending on what you are doing, um, it's a perfect competitor for Binance, for example. Um, the main difference being here that you don't need to verify your identity in order to trade there. So they have um, KYC rules and according to their rules, if you are withdrawing less than two BTC per day, you don't need to verify your identity. Only if you want to withdraw two, more than two BTC per day, and it makes sense for you to verify your identity. So that's why the platform is really popular right now and because people don't need to do a KYC only if they want to withdraw more than two BTC per day. So the first thing we want to look at is um, how to add money to the platform. So there are several ways to do that. Um, the easiest one being to buy cryptocurrency here. If you just click on Express and then you can select your currency um, type in the amount you want to buy, select the currency like Bitcoin or USDT, which is a stable coin packed to the US dollar. And then you can select um, the payment channel and agree here and then click on continue. And then you can actually buy with um, either Apple Pay or credit card um, the cryptocurrency. However, if you use this service, um, they will require you to do a KYC process. So if you click here on continue, on the next page, um, they would ask for your credit card details and then you need to enter your address and upload a passport or photo ID as well. So if you want to stay anonymous, um, it's not the best way to do that. However, um, another way would be to just add cryptocurrencies from a different platform or from a different wallet to Bybit. In order to do that, you can just click here on assets and then select either your spot or derivatives account. So there are several wallets on Bybit and you can transfer money from one wallet to another wallet. So from the spot to the derivatives account, for example, within seconds. However, if you if you so you can transfer money from one account so from the spot to the derivatives account within seconds and they don't charge you anything for that because it's instant and it's just on their back end and that's basically a security measure to make sure when you have money in your derivatives account and you get liquidated that you don't get liquidated in a spot account so let's deposit some bitcoin here you just click on deposit and select bitcoin and then they show you an address you could also select a different currency and then they will show you the address and you just need to send it to them and then it will um, show up in your wallet so that's basically it. Okay, let's look at um, spot trading. So spot trading basically means you are buying cryptocurrencies. So let's go to markets here. And these cryptocurrencies you can hold in your wallet forever or you can sell them later or whatever you want to do. And that's basically a spot trading. They probably have like 100 or more cryptocurrencies here that you can buy. So let's go to Bitcoin. We just go to trade and that's basically the trading interface here. And um, you have the chart. One candle is one hour and you can switch these candles. Of course, then you have the order book with all the sell or the buy orders. You have the recent trades and then you have the trading interface here and you can just say you want to buy or sell something. If you want to buy something, you can select a market or a limit order. Market order basically means you just select how much you want to sell and then you click or buy in this case and then you click buy BTC and it will all 
automatically um, buy that amount for you and to the best price available. And the limit order is different. Yeah, you can say, okay, you want to invest all of your money into Bitcoin if the price, for example, drops to 40,000. Then you can click buy BTC. And here that's always the price for one BTC. Even if you just want to buy half a BTC or 0.1 BTC, you always have to type in the price for one BTC. Then you click buy BTC. And then you can see the orders now in the order book and will stay there until the price reaches that level. And if the price never reaches that level, it will basically stay forever in the order book. And of course you can cancel it anytime. Selling would be the same, just select market or limit order, then you can sell. Um, the fee for that is 0.1% per trade, which is actually quite fair. Um, so if you are buying um, Bitcoins worth 100 US dollar, you are basically just paying 10 cents in fee. So let's look at derivatives. If you want to trade derivatives, you just have to make sure that you transfer money from your spot into your derivatives account. And then you can either trade USD perpetual derivatives or, or inverse perpetuals. So USDT perpetuals basically means your trade is backed by USDT. So if you make a successful trade, you will increase your amount of USDT that you have. And inverse perpetual basically means um, it's backed by Bitcoin. So if you do a successful trade, you are basically increasing your amount of Bitcoin you have. So let's say you are believing in Bitcoin and you think it will go up long term. Um, it's probably best to do inverse perpetuals. Um, however, most people trade USDT perpetuals, as you can see in the volume here and because it's more stable. So if you have like a certain amount of dollars in your account, it doesn't fluctuate as much as the Bitcoin price would fluctuate. And of course you have inverse futures that are basically futures with an with a expire date. So you can open a position here and you can stay in that position until that day and then the position will be closed automatically. Um, why people do that is basically because you don't pay funding every eight hours. So sometimes it makes sense to open a inverse future and with a fixed expiry date. However, if you look at the turnover, the volume is not very high compared to USDT perpetuals. So let's click there. And as you can see, the screen or the interface basically looks the same. You can select if you want to do isolated. Um, or cross margin mode. Cross basically means um, that it takes all the money that you have in your derivatives account into the position. If you have several positions and um, it's all backed by the same amount of money. However, if you are new to trading and you are not sure what you are doing, it's always best to do isolated um, leverage because then if you have several positions, when you get liquidated with one position, um, your whole account wouldn't get liquidated. So your whole futures account wouldn't get liquidated. And um, so it's safer. I would always um, recommend to use a low leverage. You can use leverage up to 100x. However, that would mean when you open a position of 100 of 100x with 100x leverage, and you would get liquidated if the price just goes 1% against you. And so I would recommend not using a higher leverage than two. And that's basically it in terms of leverage. You can select that for long and short. And then you have here a market or limit order. You can just select how much you want to invest. And for limit order, you can also select the price. And the order would go in the order books then. However, let's do a market order. Say, okay, we want to invest all our money here. Then we click on open long. And now you can see we have a long position open here. You can see our daily realized PNL. That's basically um, the fees we paid for opening the position. And then when we pay funding, it would also take into account the funding. And unrealized um, basically calculates um, how much money we made or lost with that position if we would close it right now. 
And then we have funding here. Funding is actually important because if a lot of people are short or long and there's funding in order to make up the difference between the people that are long and short. So right now funding is positive 0.01%. So that basically means most people are long and a positive funding would mean you would pay 0.01% of your position and when this countdown runs to zero, so it's basically every eight hours. However, if I would close it right now on the next minute, um, I would pay nothing. So funding only is or has to be paid when you're in a position when funding is at zero or the countdown is at zero. So only every eight hours. And if you would be short here right now, um, you would actually get that funding rate. And sometimes funding is negative and most people are short. That basically means if I'm still long then um, I would get money um, when the eight hours are up. So that's it when it comes to funding. And then of course I can close my position here every time. Just say close 100%, confirm. And that's it. So that's um, derivatives trading. You can select all the contracts here. And then there's one more thing. There's also an earn section here where you can um, stake some cryptocurrencies. So they have flexible staking. So you can stake some cryptocurrencies um, earn some um, interest on that one. Then they have um, DeFi mining. So you can get interest basically on your cryptocurrencies. Most of them are sold out here. However, you can still check every few days if there's something open and then you can get notified or invest some money in order to get some interests. And it's actually very safe. And then sometimes they have projects that they call launch pool. So that's basically the option for you to invest into a new project and get tokens for a cheap price. And then they will list it and you will get, um, depending how the listing goes, um, can make a great profit with that. However, it's, um, they don't have that very often. So you have to check regularly as well. So that's basically earn. So it makes sense for you to check here every once in a while what they currently have. And then there's also NFTs where you can trade NFTs. However, that's quite new here and there's not a lot of options so far. So that's basically it. If you have any questions and please feel free to use the comments down below. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you don't have an account, um, yeah, feel free to use the link. Thanks for watching.